This tutorial is going to show you how to create a uh, PowerPoint with a voiceover. And you can see here that I've ha got a PowerPoint already um, that actually takes you through most of these steps. So I thought it would be useful for you to have the, the video. Now, the important thing to recognize first is that you must have a microphone uh, attached to your computer and you must be working with it. Um, I'm on Windows 7 right now. Um, with Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can just go to your uh, little speaker icon here and you can right click. Um, and then you can go to uh, recording devices and you can check to make sure that your uh, microphone is in and that it's, um, it's working. You can see the, the little bar is moving up and down as I'm speaking and that's what you want. Um, it, uh, on a Mac it's uh, slightly different but, but pretty much the same thing. And so you want to make sure that you do have um, a microphone working. If you don't, you probably have a microphone jack and you can just grab a microphone from the, uh, the help desk or, or the um, checkout window at the circulation desk in the library. So um, what you do basically is you create a PowerPoint the same way you would normally. And you can see that um, here are my, uh, my different slides. Um, and, um, and then you, once this is done, then you can move on into actually um, uh, making the, the voiceover. And when you're doing the voiceover, basically uh, all you have to do is go into, into your slideshow tab here and then you can go into um, record slideshow. And when you click on this little drop down, you can see that you can record the slideshow from the beginning or from the current slide. Um, you can see that I'm on slide four here because the, the first one's just on how to create a PowerPoint. Um, so um, here I would probably do start recording from current slide, although it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens when you click this is that it's going to um, open up the window here. Um, so it'll ask you about your animation timings and narrations. Um, and you want to just go ahead and leave these um, uh, at the recording. So start recording. Um, and then it will actually open a PowerPoint in another window, which you can't see because it's, it's recording into a different window here. Um, and uh, um, there is a little recording box on there, which looks uh, like this. I just dragged it over. And you can see you can change slides. Um, you can pause it or whatever. And, and it just tells you how long it's been. You can even um, repeat um, one particular bit. Um, so as you go through your slideshow, um, you actually do uh, are able to, to put some recordings on, on each piece. So um, you just speak for however long you want on each slide, um, and then you go through and change the, the slide. So you can see I've, I've moved to um, slide five here, and then you can move to uh, slide six and, and whatnot, and, and it will all record. So once you're done with this, um, you, can, uh, you can close it out. Um, and you'll see that now on all of the slides that you've recorded, so you can see I, I didn't record on one, two, and three, right? So there's nothing here. On slide four, you can see that now I've got audio and you can actually test that audio here, which you definitely want to do is test that audio. But in all the slides where I've recorded audio, there is now this little audio icon. So this is a very, very useful thing to do. Um, so, um, so here's what, so you want to start this recording and then you're finished, click the X at the top. Um, and then, um, you want to review that recording by um, going into the uh, um, the little um, the little speaker icon, um, and you can view it in this this view so that all the slides are together, or you can view it in just the regular view like we're in right now. Um, and then once you've tested your audio, um, you can um, uh, make sure to save the file. So um, you can save this as just. Um, just a regular file, which is what I'm going to do now. So now it's saved and the audio is saved in it. And again, notice it's only on four, five, and six. And you know, if you're doing this professionally, of course, you want to have audio on every slide to take us through um, the slideshow. Um, but in this case, what I want to show you to do is how to export this as a video. So I'm going to go to export um, and then create a video. Um, and uh, I suggest doing computer and HD displays and uh, use recorded narrations and timings. Now, um, the things here is that the second spent on each slide is only if there is no narration. So you can see I, those first three slides didn't have narration. So they would have five seconds on each slide, and then uh, the others would just go for as long as I've narrated as I'm clicking through the slide. So that first one had a much longer narrative, the other two had smaller ones, um, and so it will spend as long on the slide as you uh, did when you were actually recording it. Then you simply go to um, create video uh, and you can choose your, your format. I suggest doing um, MP4s and then you can simply call it whatever you want um, and then save it. And then it will export the file. You can see here it's creating a video voiceover PowerPoint. Once that's done, it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube 
um, which is obviously a very simple process. Just log into go to www.youtube.com, log in, um, or create an account if you don't have one already. Um, it would be the same account as a Gmail account or, or a Google Drive account if you've got one of those as well. Um, and then you simply click on upload and, and drag in the file. Uh, so it's a very simple process. Uh, um, thanks so much. Hope this was helpful.